Hey guys, I'm recording this real quick guide about how to preserve tempests. At the moment in this tropical island you can see the hour, it's 0, 0, uh, 0058, meaning that it's 58 minutes after midnight. The tempest that is active in this map is shielding tempest, which is the proximity shield. If you stand in the in the tempest, you get the proximity shield, and also there is a second tempest of fortune. The tempest of fortune gives you a guaranteed unique in the map. I already got mine in this map. It's this one, the dead harp. The thing is that I'm having a lot of fun in uh, the tempest league, mainly because of these tempests, and most probably mainly because of the corrupted tempest. I love to play around with the corrupted tempest and to you know. Move around the monsters, wait for the fucking tempest to show up, and then get uh, in the last moment um, um, the tempest. So, 58 minutes, which means that this tempest and all the fun with the guaranteed unique is gonna end in two minutes, in one minute now. But there is a trick how you can preserve the tempest for after it ended, after. Uh, you cannot anymore, if you I open a map like that, it's not gonna be uh, the map, uh, it's not gonna be with the Tempest that uh, you would expect it to be. So pretty much what you do, and I've already uh, done it, but you know, you should be able to understand me and get what I'm doing. You go to Merciless, Act 3, and open these instances. You see 24 minutes, 24 minutes, 24, 24, 20, 23, 23, 29. This is my active instance that I was seen. This is an instance from uh, a Tempest before that that I was running. It was the 10 Ghosts. I was running 10 Ghosts Tempest for two hours and a half or something. This is how I did it. So you go in these uh, uh, new instances, you click here to create a new instance and you open the map. Just like I opened it here. When you enter the instance of the map, you refresh the timer. Now this is 28, it was 29, this is still uh, 23 and uh, it lowers the cooldown. I'm gonna enter the instance to refresh it, you see? Now it's again 23, this is 29. So I'm gonna enter all these instances to refresh the timer just so it doesn't expire. You don't need to do it on 23 minutes left. You can do it on 5 minutes left, on 2 minutes left, regardless. Just the idea is don't let your instances inspire, expire. So what I did was to open all of these uh, instances. Uh, so the last one active is this one. I mean, this one I already completed the map. This one is the uh, first one that I haven't entered yet. It's full portals. As you can see, I already opened the map before it hit 100. The Tempest at the moment is already changed. If I open a Tropical Island map right now, it's gonna be with the new Tempest. Or not Tempest, if there is no Tempest. And now when I open this uh, Tropical Island map, you're gonna see that the Tempest is still active. Shielding Tempest of Fortune, um, even though already the Tempest should have changed. So again, what you do? you find that there is a good tempest of um, sh uh, many uh, spirits or exiles or um, invaders or whatever, you know, corrupting whatever you like. The fortune, uh, not the fortune tempest, the one with the quantity and rarity and so on. So you do as many maps as you want in your hideout with a Zana boost of quantity. But one, once it gets to, let's say, 10 minutes left, what you should do is to get up all your maps of a certain kind uh, chisel them, roll them, whatever you want. I haven't neither chiseled, neither rolled these maps because uh, uh, for the corrupting one, for instance, it's better to roll them with some uh, uh, um, blue packs or um, uh, rare monsters and so on uh, to have more monsters uh, for corrupting items. But this one with the unique uh, item, it really doesn't matter because it's, uh, you know, it's just guaranteed unique item. That's it. So you want to run the map as fast as possible. So anyway. Um, so when you have 10 minutes left, you go to the map laboratory, you open new instance, open the map. Go to a new, uh, start a new instance, open the map, start a new instance, open up. You open all your maps there after you wrote them or you left them uh, white. And then you refresh the instances when they have like 10 minutes or, left, or less left, just to make sure that they're not gonna expire. You can keep like this, I've kept like 15 plus instances 
of corrupting tempest i've been running it for hours and hours and this is amazing because this way literally when you start playing uh, uh path of exile let's say if you care uh, if you have i don't know for five hours at night to play uh you're able to uh, play only in a good tempest you don't need to play random much you can just um uh, if you're lucky though, and uh, just as you start uh, playing, if there is an active good tempest, you can find out which uh, which one it is uh, through the site uh, poetempest.com, and then um, you can preserve many, many, many maps uh, for the future, so you can continue running them uh, in uh, in the next hour, in, in the next two hours, and so on. Okay, guys. Well, this is it about this video. I hope you learned something really useful, and see you in the next one.